Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Lauren. Today's video I'm super excited for because I am doing a get ready with me. As you can see, I don't have any makeup on yet. So I'm going to be filming a little bit of a everyday makeup routine. Plus I'm going to be recreating some of my claw clip hairstyles that I've done in my previous video, which will be linked down below as well as some new claw clip hairstyles that I've been using. So before I get started, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to give this video a thumbs up. So if you want to see my everyday get ready with me plus some claw clip hairstyles, please keep watching. So for today's get ready with me, I'm super excited for this because I am going to be using um, Merit Beauty products, which I will show you everything. Um, but Merit Beauty just recently launched in Sephora and they also have brand new shades from their shade Slick which is a tinted lip oil. But something that I really, really love about Merit Beauty and why I say it's like the perfect everyday makeup look is because Merit Beauty is all about natural looking makeup. And obviously I love to get glam, but for my everyday look, I really don't wear a lot of makeup. And so I love something that kind of looks like you're not wearing makeup. Um, and just looks very natural and something that you can use every day. Merit Beauty is also a clean makeup brand, so they're free of a lot of bad stuff like parabens and sulfates and toxins. So I am somebody that does suffer from eczema. Like I do get some eczema on my face, so I'm always really cautious about what I'm putting on my face. And Merit Beauty has really great products. And like I said, they're all about less is more, which I think is perfect for that everyday look. So before I get started, um, I always use a primer. So I am going to be using this Too Faced Hangover RX primer. Um, I love this primer because it's nourishing and it literally just feels like lotion. And it's also silicone free. So first, for Merit Beauty, I am going to use, this is called the Minimalist Perfecting Complexion Stick. So this is great just instead of using like a, um, what's it called, a foundation, you use this stick just to sort of even everything out, cover everything up, and then go ahead and just blend it. So I actually don't like wearing foundation on the daily. I don't know if anyone is like me, but I just hate feeling like I have something on my face. So so I'll usually use something like this every day because I don't like putting like a whole thing on my face. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dot this. So and then I'm gonna go ahead and use this brush from Merit Beauty to just blend that all in. so light and literally you're not wearing a lot of product which I love but it looks nice and even and smooth next I'm going to go ahead and do my brows um, this is a brow 1980 volumizing pomade so I love the packaging too, this is so pretty. So I don't like a like really huge fully defined brow. I usually just do a little something and then I'm good. Um, but this is what their brow pomade looks like. Really cute. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just sort of fill that in. Look how nice that already looks. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other brow so what you're supposed to do is when you put this on is just sort of like wiggle it out add some volume I think it looks great super natural love that next I'm gonna go ahead and use the flush balm um, this is in the color Beverly Hills. I will also link everything down below, by the way. And also, don't forget to use 
I have a link. Um, so if you guys want to get any of these products, just use my link in the description box below. This is the blush balm. I'm literally just going to go in with my fingers and just blend it in. So this is just like a blush. And what I love about this makeup is that everything can just sort of be tailored to how you like it. So you don't have to use a ton. And they have a bunch of different colors, obviously. Um, but this color is really natural and just gives you like a little bit of like a flushed color. I have um, this Day Glow. It's a highlighting balm. It's just a highlighting stick. So I would go ahead and just use this like that and then just sort of rub it in. Just get a glow. I like to do a little bit on my nose here. And something else that I would do using this is just put it on the brow bone here. So. I love how like natural and dewy this all looks. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of eyeshadow. Literally, my everyday routine is so simple and easy. It's like, you know, I'm not a makeup guru, so, you know. When I go out, I like to really do all glam, but for my everyday look, pretty simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use the KKW Beauty Palette. I'm just gonna go ahead and take this shade right here. It's called Fade, and I'm just gonna sort of put that all over. I'm gonna take this shade right here, which is Saint, and I'm gonna put that sort of on the outer corner and a little bit in the crease. You guys, like I said, this is super simple. I literally do this like every day and I'll usually just take like a darker shade like this that shade is called family and then I'll put that on my outer corner here I'm just gonna blend that even more So Merit actually just launched new shades of their Shade Slick Tinted Lip Oil. They launched on August 24th. Like I said, Merit is all about less is more and a minimalist type of beauty. But this one is in the color Bel Air, all, all, all natural. And that's this. Please do is too. Um, I'll always put on like maybe like a nude lip color or like a little pinky one and then throw some something like this over it. And it feels so nice and so natural. And I love it. I'm gonna show you guys what the other color looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use. Um, this lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury. It is pillow talk. That's what it is. Pillow talk. So this needs to be sharpened, but don't mind me. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. It's all natural. And you guys, these are so nice because it doesn't feel like a um, lip gloss, but it also feels like really like creamy type of lip stick or something. I mean, these are called lip oils. That is this. And now you guys, let's get into my claw clips. And I'm super excited for this because I have some new clips that I've really been wanting to show you guys. 
So first you want to start with like a hairbrush. You want to make sure you've got your clips. And I'm going to show you guys the clips that I've been using. Um, this clip I featured in my first claw clip video. This claw clip I purchased from Revolve. Thought it was just super cute and fun. It's purple and sparkly and I love it. Really cute. And now my favorite one as of lately is this clip. I got this from Etsy. I will link it down below. I love it. I think it is the perfect size. So if you have long hair, you really want to make sure that you have like a longer clip versus like a shorter clip. Do you see what I mean? This just gives you more room. Um, so yeah, I love that. Now, first I'm going to start with my favorite look. Um, I've been wearing this all the time It is just a classic twist, but I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like with this clip because it's like So cute. So okay, you guys. So the first look I'm going to do is just a classic twist So I'm going to leave just a few pieces out in front You don't have to or you can leave more out if you'd like um, This is just honestly so easy um just going to keep this low at the base of the neck here and we're just going to twist but you don't have to twist too much because i kind of like to have some fall over you don't want to put the clip too low you want to move it up a little bit just like this and then there you go Now, another way to make that style super, well, easier, um, if you have really long hair or you have really thick hair, is to use a hair tie. So what you do is leave out whatever hair you want here and then tie your hair up just like this. I wouldn't tie it like super tight, I would just tie it so that it holds it. And then what you want to do is you want to just sort of fold it up just like this, just like what you would usually do, and clip it like that. And that just makes it so much easier to get your hair to stay if you have trouble with that. This is another way to do the hairstyle if you have trouble getting the clip to just hold. One of my favorite looks is this twist that I do. It literally, I just do it to throw my hair up. I don't even think about it, but it looks super cute. And it's a little bit different because unlike the first style, there's no like hair falling over or flying over. It's sort of all twisted in there. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. And I'm going to be using this clip. So what you wanna do is again, Leave whatever hair you want in the front, and then we're going to just take the rest of it, and I'm going to pull it out. I'm going to take this hand and twist, like you're twisting it that way, and then completely pull the rest of the hair in and bring it up. And as you can see, there's no hair falling over. I'm going to take this clip and just clip the whole thing. And that is how you get this look. Now, to make 
this look easier for those of you who may have some trouble doing it i would recommend again going ahead and using a hair tie so what you want to do is again tie the hair at the bottom you don't want to do it um, too tight or anything and then we're going to just take your hand and create like a loop there pull the rest of the hair in and pull it up and then take the clip and clip it just like that and again it makes it easier just to keep the hair together if you have trouble doing that Next, I'm gonna go with a more sleek look. So keeping that middle part, we're going to pull our hair back. And like I said, make sure we are keeping that middle part. Again, it's okay if it's not like super like perfect. I don't want it to be. And I'm going to just pull it into like a really tight bun like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and take this clip. I'm going to take the purple one and just pin it down here. And you can get like part of the bun in it and just kind of play around with it until it feels secure. Another really cool and simple way to do another style is we're going to kind of do a French twist, but it's going to be a little bit different than the first one. So I'm going to be using this clip and I'll show you guys how to do it. We're going to take the hair again like this, leave out whatever pieces you want, and we are going to twist it, but this time we're not going to twist it too tight. I want to leave it sort of loose. Now, instead of clipping it right here, what we're going to do is we're going to twist the rest of the hair and sort of bring it down so we create this like thin twist. And we're going to take the clip and put it over. take the hair like this um, I'm gonna still keep that part in the middle and I'm gonna just sort of like messily pull up my hair just like this okay and then I'm going to sort of like poof it up and just start twisting I'm going to twist down and then twist up Okay, so you have this like twist down versus before it was up and down. This time we're doing down and up. I'm gonna go ahead and take the clip and just clip that at the top here. And you can like move it around and stuff. And this is definitely like more of like a little bit of a messier look but it's super cute and I love this
final look again i'm going to keep this volume here and i'm going to just do a half up half down so we're going to keep the volume just like this and i'm going to only take half of the hair i will show you what it looks like in the back and i'm going to kind of twist this into a bun but we don't want to do it tight we want to leave volume and then i'm going to take this clip and just sort of clip that at the bottom of the bun guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed my everyday natural makeup routine and my claw clip hairstyles that i've been using if you guys have any questions please don't forget to write them in the comment section down below and i will also be posting a link um, to use if you are interested in any of those merit beauty products i'm telling you guys check out their website they have really great stuff so thank you guys again for watching and i will see you next time Bye.